that I spoke to the guys that um, there's a that stuff of you wanting to be professional right whenever you get in a certain level then Jiu-Jitsu becomes your you know like your your profession right that's what you make money with you know what I mean and uh, that's your your profession so you know you come to events like this and there's no money there you know but there is always a there's always the shock of conflict of where you're like man you know like, I want to be professional I get, I get paid to compete why would I compete on a smaller event you know but even like uh, the first thing that I had I was like man are they paying is there money on the absolute that was the first thing that came to my mind and I even asked the guys when I called them you know but then it made me remind me why did I start Jiu Jitsu I never started Jiu Jitsu because of the money I never started Jiu Jitsu because I want to be a world champion I started Jiu Jitsu because I love Jiu Jitsu you know what I mean so that's what made me want to compete alongside my students because it's about the passion man at the end of the day you know what I mean and I know for a fact that uh, uh, a, a lot of the people there actually having the opportunity of seeing me compete but even more you know competing against me would you know put a spark inside of their hearts and wanting to give them you know that giving them the, their experience is truly priceless you know so for sure I can say for myself that I'm gonna try to do as much as I possibly can on that way you know I haven't competed on an event like uh, rappling industry for some time now but you know I was in a great experience and donating of my time donating of my jiu-jitsu in order to you know be able to uh, expose the entire community into a, a greater grappling experience I believe that's completely worth it and that's something that me myself I want to do more and I'm gonna have my athletes do more you know um, I believe that's the minimum that we can do for the community you know and then you know and getting out of that that you know like oh my but I have to make money yes you do I want to have uh, to make money but we can't forget that um, in order to give in, in order to take we have to give as well you know so um, I love the experience of being there you know and uh, um, I hope that you know there's a bunch of guys out there who listen to this and they want to put their you know their 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 game online too you know not only to have uh, to make money but to have fun and actually uh, share the experience of a bunch of people who actually are passionate about grappling themselves I felt the level was great. You know, I saw that you know, like everybody who I got to compete against had a, had a good skill. You know, and uh, I just made sure to be one step ahead of the boys. It was a great experience to come here. Everybody was super welcome at the event. 
Um, the organization was super cool. It was done inside of Arnold Classic, which is the first time that I've been, that I've seen that event and it was super cool. A bunch of different events and sports happening um, the same day. I could visit with the different booths and I got to experiment and talk to the guys um, from, you know, like from just different, all different kinds of sports and different, different walks of life. I believe that that brought a good attention to jiu-jitsu because jiu-jitsu was right in the middle of the of the event and i believe that that gave us the opportunity to expose the sport as well for different people who are curious and were you know have, were given the chance to actually see on jiu-jitsu and be yeah, have some sort of contact with our community and man again overall great experience i just want to thank um, grapple industries for the opportunity for such a great invitation for um, having me, you know, like I have to give me the opportunity of, of coming to compete since day one, since I messaged the guys and said I was going to be in Ohio, everybody, everybody was, you know, super cool. And again, I mean, congratulations. I love to see events like that, you know, who are making, you know, Jiu Jitsu grow. Um, when I first got to US, it was an event like Grappling Industry that built me into being a better athlete and put me where I am today. You know, so I really appreciate, you know, events like that who are exposing, uh, Putting, putting Jiu Jitsu in um, all different states of US and making Jiu Jitsu great. So again, extremely grateful for being here, man, 42 years old, I'll be 43 this year, and still competing with the, kid, with the kids, you know, and being able to do the thing that I love the most, which is fighting Jiu Jitsu. Grappling Industries has done an incredible job of creating the best tournament experience possible for jiu-jitsu athletes. They are affordable and they offer a round-robin format that guarantees plenty of matches for the price of admission. They offer gi and no gi divisions open to all ages and experience levels, and they have a very modern rule set with no advantages that encourages submissions. In the last few years, Grappling Industries has grown tremendously. In fact, if they were a stock, you'd probably be investing in them. Every month, they have several events across the United States, Canada, and Australia, and they return to the same cities on a regular basis. They have roots in each country they operate in, so it's produced by homegrown members of the jiu-jitsu community. Be sure to check their calendar regularly because these guys hold so many events around the world, it's crazy. Head over to grapplingindustries.com and bookmark the events page to stay up to date with when they'll be near you next. That's grapplingindustries.com.